Hey all, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll be doing the unboxing and setup of the Bamboo Lab P1S. This isn't a sponsored video, I bought this with my own money. So everything I say and do here is of my own accord and not influenced by any sponsorship. Let's go. Now, opening the box was really simple. Getting the bamboo lab P1S was really easy to get out of the box. And there were instructions on the lid, literally grab the bag, yank and pull it out. And as I do it with pretty minimal effort, cause you know, I go to the gym, <laughs> only joking. Um, yeah, so I'm just unboxing and wrapping it now. I was super excited. I've been dying to get my hands on one of these. I read he wanted to have a bamboo lab printer just because I know the quality and all the reviews that I've seen online have been really good. I've upgraded from my Kratley Ender 3 S1 Pro. It was a really good machine, but I was just getting sick and tired of all the tinkering and trying to adjust and all these level and all that stuff. So yeah, I sold that and went ahead and got the bamboo lab P1S. Um, I'm just trying to carefully unwrap and pull off these sellotape seals. Um, it wasn't difficult, I just was trying to be really careful of it. Um, yeah, it was really satisfying doing all of this. Um, it arrived in really quick, really. I, I think I ordered it on Monday, and by Wednesday morning, it was at my door. Um, yeah, let's continue. What I will say is this was extremely packaged well. Um, it was super secure in the box. As you can see all the sellotape and the seals and the protection of the glass panel. Um, really great to see. Um, placing it to one side now because I'm scared of shattering that. Um, and I put it quite far away <laughs> just in case I do it. Um, remove the top lid as you're about to see now. And as you saw previously, all the bits and tools in that box here is all contained within inside of it. Um, so that I will in a minute show you what's in that box. And yeah, let's just continue to see what happens. Now, I'm not ashamed to say it. I want to make sure I go through these instructions. I'm not going to be proud and say, yep, I can do it without reading the instructions because you're spending this much money. Why risk messing it up and not following what the manufacturer says? So first thing I do is open this box, which to my pleasant surprise, um, contains some really good stuff in it. There's me trying to open this with one hand. I'll be honest, trying to hold a camera and trying to open a box with a knife is pretty difficult. Hence why the camera angle is so bad. Um, there were more seals on the side that I didn't see. Um, besides these three that I'm slicing now. I think I do edit in a minute. Yep, there, me, there I am trying to struggle to open it. Um, and there's some at the top. Um, so yeah, I'm about to slice and dice in a minute. Let's continue. Now, what really surprised me the most was that you get filament with it. I didn't know you did get filament with it, even though I've watched reviews and unboxing before. Um, somehow I missed it and didn't know that you got a nice bit of PLA attached to it. Uh, this is the Bamboo Labs own PLA. Um, comes in green. Um, 
don't really care about the color but it was really nice this is the screen and it looks like a remote control uh, if anyone's seen one of those before um yeah i wish it had a touch screen like the x1 carbon but you know you pay for what you get if you want to get a touch screen you get the x1 carbon i know you can do, get the x touch mod which i possibly may do in a future video i'm not too sure if it's something i'm going to commit to yet um yep so this is the spool holder just took out the power plug and the spare ptf tube and here is the warranty slash disclaimer safety guidelines always good to have and this if you don't know is a nozzle cleaner well a spike to clean your nozzle really if you get anything jammed in there you just stick it up there i guess Hey ho. Um, underneath this box, this is what contains all the tools. And another surprise, I didn't know there was things that you can print off the actual Bamboo Lab that come with it. So I didn't film it, but you actually do get to print off a scraper, which is a file containing an SD card. And in a second, I'm about to show you the extra parts that you get. So you get really good additional spares here. So as you can see, there's spares for the nozzle. If you want to change the nozzle there. Um, here's some sticky pads. I guess if you want to add them, create a phone holder, which also comes on it as well, so you can create a phone holder. This is the, I guess, the mechanism that cleans the head. It knocks itself against it to clean the extra filament off the end. Uh, more screws there um, for the extruder. This is a ton of lubricant um, for the bamboo lab. I was a bit confused when we got so much, but obviously maintenance is important. And super surprised to see a new hot end, a spare hot end. That is just out of this world. Like bamboo lab's well done. You absolutely put it out of the park. Um, Allen keys, and this was the scraper um, blade. Um, I didn't know you. I thought we would. I would not come with one. But yeah, they give you the files to print off. And yeah, I'm, another video. I'll show you what it looked like. Um, so yeah that all what came into the box a ton of stuff more than i expected and yeah thank you bamboo labs because this is really high quality stuff and this is what often all manufacturers should do Now, it's always important to read the disclaimer and safety guidelines when unboxing and using anything, whether it's a toaster, a washing machine, 3D printer. Um, so yeah, just going through it all now, just to make sure that I'm doing everything right and I don't mess anything up. Um, yeah, makes sense really. Follow the guidelines, keep safe, be safe. What more can you say? Um, yeah. Now back to the instructions. Um, first part is to remove this cardboard off the head itself. I've struggled holding a camera, holding a blade and trying to get this off. It just wasn't doing it. I'm trying to do like tiny little slices here. I thought this red tab might just pull it off. You know, it's not really gonna pull a zip tie, is it really? Um, so in a second, I'm about to adjust the camera, rest it on top so I can use both hands and just make my life easier. So here we go. Um, it was straightforward, literally. Cut the zip ties, pull off the cardboard, and off you go. So I'm just moving the gantry out of the way so I can remove this bit of plastic out of the poop chute. Yes, uh, the 3D printer poops. So what it does fundamentally is it extrudes extra filament so it doesn't get trapped within your prints or if you're changing colors, it flushes it out so colors do not mix and they do not blend and it just allows for cleaner, better prints. Uh, my children find it funny that a 3D printer poops, but hey ho, what can you say? Um, I'm now about to install the rear spool holder. 
I will mention that I did print off a side mounted spool holder. It's not in this video, I will show it at a later point. Um, yeah, print out a PETG, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just following the instructions so you can see how it's done. Now it's time for the exciting part. Um, I'm just removing the foam from the inside of the P1S. Following the instructions, I'm now removing the lead screws that hold down the base um, or the build plate. Um, there's three in total, one on the right, one on the left, and one at the back where all the screws are. Oh, the lead screws are, sorry. Um, it was a bit difficult trying to do this, uh, trying to reach over and get my hands in, but it, you know, it got done at the end of the day. Um, and yeah, obviously you need to remove this so the build plate can move up and down. Now this bit I couldn't wait for, it's time to install the screen. Um, I was following the instructions and removing off the tape. Um, yeah, it's quite straightforward really. Unwrapping it from its seal. It really does look like a remote control, <laughs> but um, hey ho, wouldn't mind a touch screen. Come on Bambi lads, give us an option to upgrade it if needed. Um, but yeah, just inserting the cable into the back of the screen as instructed. And then it does say to push the cable into the case a little bit and slide it to the left, which I am doing now. Um, it wasn't too finicky to do, it's, I've got massive giant sausage fingers, uh, so probably a bit more difficult for me, but it went in quite easily, quite smoothly, still in place, um, I'm just checking it out, I didn't slide it all the way at first, but hey ho, um, the video will cut now because I need to use my phone to log in and connect the printer to it all, and yes, do not remove the foam underneath the bed because there are still two pieces underneath the bed as you can see there. I was going to move it, remove it, but you know, reading the instruction does help. Do not move them yet. Wait till setup is done, which I'm about to show you soon. Now, after removing the protective film off the glass panel and placing it in the top, it looks really cool. It's like a smoky glass, so it's not completely transparent. But um, yeah, it's a really nice look. It's a nice little gloss and little sheen. And yeah, this machine looks beautiful. Um, it's machined super well. Obviously, the side panels are plastic, but it's not a cheap plastic. It does feel quite solid. The glass panels are absolutely amazing. Super strong, probably tough on glass. And yeah, let's unwrap the rest of it. Now I'm just switching it on for the first time and this is the initial setup. Um, as you can see before use, it does say to make sure that you have read the user manual, which we have done. So I click on to next, there's like a few seconds of waiting and it's just going to go through the process now. So I'm choosing my location, which is Europe, um, as I live here in the UK. Um, there is a QR code there to scan to get everything set up, which I did off camera. And now it's time to do the self-test. Now, this does sound like it's about to take off and break. It's just getting ready. Um, 
um, the gear thing set up as you can see now it's rising from the base and it's moving its head across just so it can do the adjustments um, yeah it's just gonna go through a process let's continue to watch and see what happens Now in about 10 seconds, you're gonna hear the sound I was talking about. Just warning you beforehand to turn on your volume if you're listening on headphones or TV. But yeah, this is what it sounds like going through the initial self-test. Now as you just saw, there was an over the air update when turning it on, which is pretty normal. Uh, now I'm just gonna follow the instructions to load the filament. Um, as it says, you load the filament, you press the E button down to extrude what's there, so it attaches to it, which is really good. I did learn later on, you can just press the load button and it will just drag it in automatically, but I guess for the initial setup, they want you to force it in bit by bit. Um, as I press that down now, it's time to do the first print, which is the Benji. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in and out now so you can see it moving. It's not that exciting. If you've seen a 3D printer before, it's just going to lay down a bit of goop slash filament. But yeah, here it is anyway. Now the sound you're hearing now is the sound of the printer with the door open. Um, it is quite loud and that is because the fans are running on full max to the park cool while it's printing. Um, I wasn't aware it was going to be this loud. I know the reviews and everyone said it was quite loud, but experiencing it firsthand is quite loud. But with the door closed, it's not too bad. Um, as I'm filming this, I've got it in the background now as I'm doing this in my office. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, let me know in the comments. But yeah, um, you know, if you want fast printing, parts are typical quickly to keep up with it. And yeah, that is the sound. It's not the worst, but it's there. Um, yeah, the Benchy has just finished. It was a super quick Benchy, under 20 minutes, which is great. Um, quality came out really good, as I was about to show you in a minute. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not the best Benchy of all time. As you see, the, I guess the bottom half of it, I don't know if there's a layer shift, which is pretty hard to do with a Core X wire printer, uh, or just the way it printed. But yeah, it came out like 99% perfect um yeah i'm just ripping it off now the bent bed i'm really excited you can't hear it but i'm like giggling like a little school girl um excited to get the bamboo lab printed um but yeah really enjoyed it Like I said, this isn't a review of the P1S. It's just an unboxing and my first impressions of it. And I am loving it so far. Um, I am bringing out a review shortly once I get a bit more hands on time with it. But thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you next time. Let's go.